Welcome to the Programming and Development Career Path. If you're brand new to the IT landscape, I want to give you a broad overview of what this track entails. A famous artist once said, it's so fine and yet so terrible to stand in front of a blank canvas. What a fantastic description of the software developer, one who makes software for the world to use, researching, designing, and testing. They're often the ones that takes that brilliant idea, stares at the blank canvas and says, let's go to work. But rather than splashes of colors and brush strokes, a software developer writes commands to a computer and ties it together with if-then loops. And that's really at the heart of all computer programming. If this happens, then do that. If this happens, then do that. You tie enough of those statements together and you have yourself an application. So what kind of things are at a developer's fingertips? Typically, a database. There's a need to store information that can be quickly referenced. SQL is one of the most common databases that the world uses today. You'll want to learn how you can store all that data and then call upon it and reassemble it as the application needs it. Then you'll need a programming language, many of them out there, each one having its own niche. Some of them are going to work better on mobile applications like iOS or Android-based operating systems. Some of them are going to work better as Windows applications, something that a user can use inside of a Microsoft Windows environment. Some of them are going to work better as web-based applications. And some of them will be chosen just because of what everybody else on your team knows. It's not uncommon for a software developer to know multiple languages that they use. The job prospects for software developers are high because these are the individuals that are going to drive the innovation and new technologies of the future. Well, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.